Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a script that allows you to launch an input box like this where you can type out a partial match of the tab that you want to search for in Google Chrome Windows and once you press OK, it's going to loop through all the tabs within all the Google Chrome Windows uh, in order to find and activate that tab that you are looking for. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So here is the script. It's a very short one. Uh, but before I explain this to you, let me just demonstrate again. So there's nothing new about it. It basically uh, uses the same trick that everybody knows, which is to loop through the tabs in order to get the title of the tab and see if it matches the value that you put in. So for example, let's go sydneymorningherald.com.au and that's going to loop through uh, the Google Chrome windows in order to find the right matching well this partially matched uh, tab like that so you've got Australian breaking news Sydney Morning Herald at the at the bottom of the title so that's how it works so let me show you one more time I go Dropbox then it's going to look for that now in terms of which Google Chrome window it starts with first it's purely based on lock so it just looks at the last activated or the the first activated tab and so if you happen to be um, in this tab and you're looking for a tab that sits like right before um, where where you are so dictionary then it's going to start uh, looping through the the first activated tab and the second one and the last activated so it will take a bit of time um, but it does go and find that so to explain how the script works before I explain the actual script I'm going to show you another script that allows you to do the same thing but by uh, doing it manually. It manually loops to the tab by pressing the numpad 0 key which is the hotkey. I've got two hotkeys here uh, which is a uh, non-context sensitive hotkey. First one is and this basically checks if the Chrome uh, application exists or otherwise it will launch it or if it does exist then it's just going to activate any one of them and we have a, a context sensitive uh, numpad zero hotkey that does the looping so if I go ahead and run this it will do exactly that so let me just uh, put this over here and then go numpad zero first time I run it it will activate uh, Google Chrome window which is this one it happens to be so um, let me just put this in the background and try again numpad zero so it activates it numpad zero again it will tap through it and then and then um, once it hits the tab that it's been to then it's going to move on to the next tab now mind you if you had two different uh, tabs that have the same window open then it's just going to skip skip that and then uh, go on to the next Chrome window that's something that you can't help with unless the title of your tab is different but in this case it's exactly the same so when it when it loops through to the next tabs and then it hits the dictionary tab it will think that oh I've been into the dictionary tab already uh, the first tab so it will go on to the next one there's no way to get around this unfortunately if you have the same name tabs um, and so if I do numpad zero then it's going to keep looping through these now the mechanics of this is that so for example you saw the tooltip right here so right now I pressed the numpad zero tab once and I was in the my in my website so Juho Lee dash Google Chrome which is right here it, it understood that I was I have this tab open in this Google Google Chrome window and then I when I pressed the numpad zero hotkey it moved on to the next tab uh, by sending the the control tab key and uh, it will have registered the title of this tab in this uh, uh, tooltip as well. So you will see in the second line, it will say schedule contact at juholi dot uh, at gmail dot com. So that got registered, and we've got the Google Keep tab open right here. That will have been registered as well. So when I press the next time I press the numpad zero key, it will move on to my website, and it will understand that in this tooltip, which is a variable the Juho Lee uh, dash Google Chrome does exist in which case it's going to move on to the next Chrome window so if I press dump at zero then it will shift my focus to the next tab and activate the next Chrome window immediately so that's how it works and then I moved on to uh, the the next Chrome window so if I press the numpad zero again 
all of this in this variable in the tooltip you, you can see here will be wiped out so if i press numpad zero again then it's going to start over and you can see how the australian the cinemorningherald.com.au has been registered as my first tab in this google chrome window and so if i do uh, numpad zero numpad zero again then it's going to shift over to the next chrome window uh, when when the uh, Sydney Morning Herald website has been met again. So that's how it basically works. Now, the mechanics of the first script that you saw where you put in the input box is basically the same. So it does uh, loop through, it activates the Chrome window and does a counting of the instances of the Chrome windows and then does a loop based on that. So we've got the input box here where you put in the name of the tab that you're going to search for. And once you come down to this loop, it will activate from the first most activated Chrome window and it will get the title of the first tab. So it will activate one of these windows and it will get the title of it and store it into what's called a first tab variable. And if in string first tab variable, the tab name that you provide in your input box, then it will just break out of that loop and it will go into a pause because you found the tab that you uh, were looking for in the first go. Otherwise, it will go into a while loop where you're looking for a false of this, which means uh, as long as the active tab does not equal the first tab, then you will continuously run this while loop. And so what is the active tab? The active tab gets updated. So it will send a, a control tab key set in order to uh, move on to the next tab, right? So, and uh, once you move on to the next tab, you slate for 50 uh, milliseconds and that's required because it might take a little bit of time until you actually move on to the next tab basically and uh, you might have to increase this to maybe a hundred milliseconds if the uh, if, if this is going too fast and and the script is unable to register the name of the, the currently active tab after having moved the tab and it will get the win title of the then active tab into the active tab and it does a comparison or it checks whether the active tab uh, includes the, the tab name that you have provided if it doesn't then it will just uh, ignore this part and then continuously run the while loop right if it does then it will break out of this loop so you see how there's break two and that means you will break out of the current loop as well as the parent loop right so if you put break to it does that now if you can't find any um, of the matching tab uh, going by the tab name in here and what once you come back to uh, the first tab which means your active tabs name is going to equal the first tab, right and so you're going to break out of the while loop and then you will go on to the next Chrome so basically this will search if I search for a tab that doesn't exist, does not exist, it's going to go through all the tabs and end in the last tab just like that um, when it uh, is not able to find the tab. So I think uh, this is it. So the, the other script that I have shown you is basically uh, pretty much similar. So I don't think I have to explain it to you. I'll be uploading these as per usual on my website. So you'll be able to find them. And this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.